And welcome back, everybody. On November the 12th, a workshop will take place teaching how to just breathe and organize our minds and homes. Joining us with a, a preview, we have Maeve Richmond and Kirsten Broderick. We welcome you guys to the show. Thank you. I had to take it slow. <laughs> <laughs> Breathing like that, you know. How did you guys get involved in that? Did you, did you always want to do this, or when did you find out that this is something that you wanted to explore? Well, we have two different organizations. Maeve's yeah. Method, um, she has an incredible business, and I'll give that over to you, uh, mm -hmm. about home organization. Um, and I teach organizations and corporations meditation. Um, Does it have something to do with Francois? No? Uh, some sort a of little bit. Uh, there are some principles regarding energy and kind of how you experience space, but mm -hmm. uh, May's method is actually a behavioral change, hands-on learn by doing coaching process. So mm -hmm. we work with people one-on-one -on -one in their homes, in their home environment, to relieve that overwhelm mm -hmm. and stress from small space, having a new baby, moving, those kind uh -huh. of issues. So <laughs> we do, uh, in, in my work, we do just a lot of gentle breathing to help uh, people kind of get through the process. And of course, Kirsten and her work, breathing is instrumental to her work. So we decided to join forces mm -hmm. and put this workshop together. Kirsten, tell us about your part. Um, so one of the key factors that is happening today is that people are super stressed. There's a lot of... Especially um, in New York City. Yeah. Just a little bit, yeah. right? Just a little bit. There's a lot of... There's often just a lot of things that are coming at you. There's family, there's home, there's work, there's demands. There's the constant pull of social media and pressure. And oh. there's a lot of anxiety. There's often depression. Um, and... Uh, I've worked in social and economic development my entire career. I've always been trying to like save the world. Yeah, um, yeah. And uh, thank God, uh, over time, I, I learned that that's not my job. Um, the world doesn't need to be saved. Um, but what we all do, we do suffer. But on a personal level, I've been a Zen Buddhist for almost 20 years. Uh, you, you know, I, you, you mentioned that. You mentioned, you said you were a monk. Um, yeah, it's, yeah, kind <laughs> of like this. <laughs> so, uh, but explain that. Uh, um, so I first started studying, I actually went to school at Fordham and while I was there, right here in the Bronx, and we, there was a great course called Belief and Unbelief and I was first exposed to um, Far Eastern religion and thought and so after college oh, yeah. I actually moved to Japan and while I was there, just because I was there, uh, I did my first Zen meditation retreat and I realized in 20 minutes, that as soon as I quieted my body and my mouth, how loud my mind was. Wow, yes, yeah. yes. So that led to a long-term practice, and over time, um, I decided to make it a commitment and make it my life. Mm -hmm. And then I would often be working in very stressful organizations or situations, trying to work on big problems. And I teach my colleagues, my friends, or my clients these easy skills. And um, it's a very powerful, easy way to be present and mindful. So. Yeah, so yeah. one quick skill. That won't take up the... Yeah, I, it's very quick. Oh, okay. Um, so it's your breath, Relative. right? So uh, we're always breathing. What meditation is, is you're stopping, you're taking a moment of awareness, and you're not doing anything, right? You're just breathing. So while you're sitting, pay attention to your breath. It's the thing that you're doing. And then that carries on into your entire life because you've built up this muscle. It's just like a push-up. Yeah. So most of the time when we're breathing, it's a short, shallow breath up here, right? And that's where anxiety lives. If you ever feel anxious, it's a breath here. Yeah. If you ever feel tension, it's a tight, like that knot in your stomach, it's a tight breath right yes. here. Calm is physiological. It's a lower belly breath. So you just focus on filling your belly like a balloon. And you stop, sit up straight. You can sit on the edge of your chair to almost force your posture so that your chest will open up and your shoulders will drop naturally. That's all you need to do. And just set your phone timer for a minute or five minutes and that's all you need to do. That's it. That's the whole thing. You're good. You guys do the rest. I'm <laughs> meditating. Yeah. And what part do you play? Yes. I mean, how do you mix so these two? So Maeve's Method, as I said, we're a home organization coaching firm. We also work w uh, in offices as well. And uh, there's a, a lot of sort of mindfulness in, me in meditation and breathing in, in our work as well. It's a little bit more subtle, but uh, primarily uh, what happens in our world right, right now is a lot of people walk into their home and the first thing they feel is anxiety yeah. and a lot of overwhelm. Um, is it's that because things are out of place? 
Uh, it's a lot of things. Sometimes it's things that are out of place. Um, what, what I see happening most right now is that um, we're living with a lot more things than we kind of need or actually have a, a functional role in our day-to-day -day life. Yeah. Um, we, our society is moving very quickly and there's been a lot of advancements, technology and communications and uh, uh, just retail stores growing and more things coming into the home. And um, I sort of have seen that whether it's adults or kids are kind of losing connection to understanding um, the idea of what I say is bringing things into the home that are yeah. uh, play a role as if they were a family member, so they're functional in the home. So a lot of the overwhelm when people walk in is there's so much stuff and it, rather than kind of walking in and greeting your family member or your cat or just kind of greeting your home as if it were a friend, it's a lot of things that set off triggers for people and it happens the second they walk in. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I've been to someone's home where I had to use the restroom. Yes. They really didn't want to let me in. Yes. And I got in there and there was just a little path mm -hmm. to get where you needed to go. I mean, the place was so cluttered. Yeah. So how can anybody live like this? My well, God, you had to walk sideways to the place. Yeah, the reality is a lot of people do. And so in our work, um, I really uh, try to accept people where they're at. Um, people have a lot of reasons for coming to that place uh, that they live that way. And yeah. to be honest, it's actually not upsetting for a lot of people. It's sometimes more upsetting for the people who come in. Yeah. So we just take things where people are at and then help them with uh, kind of their most pressing need. And sometimes it's as simple as um, having an easy place to put bags down when they first come in, or um, maybe their child needs a, a better place to, to play. Uh, so we work mm -hmm. on kind of small things and um, and start there. And it's a skills-based model. So people are mm -hmm. it's a, really a teach a man to fish model. So people are empowered and can then learn to do it on their own in their homes. Who reaches out to you guys? Who, 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 who says, hey, I, I need help in this area? Um, so for me, I work with two main groups. I work with organizations. And I come in, especially if they're dealing with a lot of high stress. Um, a lot of executives have actually come to me. I'm doing actually a, lot, a bunch of one-on-one -on -one coaching, which was a surprising thing that came to me. Yeah. Um, but I try to make it so that it's very simple and accessible, but it's just like a push-up. So as much as easy, you, we've learned everything pretty much that you need to know about meditation already. Just stop and breathe. The hard thing is actually doing it. Doing it. Right? Yeah. And it's just like a push-up. You don't quiet your mind. We tend to think, oh, don't think, don't think. Um, but that doesn't happen. You focus on your breath, your mind will quiet itself. But the problem is the structure and actually doing it for five minutes and then g doing 10 minutes or whatever. Same like a push-up, doing five or 10 or 20 and growing that so that yeah. you get stronger. So what I'll come in is I'll work with an organization or a group and I'll look at the flow of how they work and I'll create a seamless structure for them to be able to actually have the time and the internal culture of just taking time for yeah. quiet. And that changes everything. You ever walk into a place and say, wow, this place is a mess. Wait a minute, let me get myself. I need to breathe first before I can get them to breathe correctly. <laughs> um, you know what is such a great thing about my practice that uh -huh. I didn't realize until I, I kind of left it yes. for a while when I went back to grad school at one point, was that once you learn this, it's with you all the time. Uh -huh. So it's like, oh, OK. It's, it's fine. Yeah. Like, whatever you walk into, that is the world as it is. Not like, and that's actually where uh, where Maeve and I really did come together. Is mm -hmm. that yeah. we yeah. meet people where they're at? You don't have to change anything. Yeah, everything is fine. It's really it nice to uh, we as we've been talking. There's a lot of stress in our world. I think we can't yes. escape that or ignore it. Uh, and it's just nice to have some skills or tools in your back yeah. pocket. Whether it's the ability to breathe uh, through meditation or coming into your home. Uh, one of the things that I, I uh, talk about in my work and we teach a lot of people is the idea to create a simple what I call a drop zone, which is just a space, a drop zone. A drop zone. When you walk in your front door, whether it's a chair or a table, just a spot to put down your bag, your coat, your keys, and have them live there so that you can go in and get a glass of water, get your kids fed, whatever it needs to happen, and, and that's okay. You're sort of giving yourself permission to have that space and yeah. not feel, oh, I'm dumping a bunch of stuff in the front. because It's about mindset, and so it's really about teaching people to, to embrace what they need and kind of name it and call it that and be okay with it. Wow. Um, yeah. It's a great thing that you, what you guys are doing. Yeah. So you're a Zen master, and let me see, there was a coach. Oh, what's his name? Uh, Phil, Phil Jackson. He's a Zen master. Do you ever meet him? I have. I would love to meet him. I love what he's doing with people. Um, yeah, I wouldn't say that I'm a Zen master by any ways, um, but I do practice, and it is a part of my committed life mm. practice. But I think what both of our goals are, and especially here today, sure. is to help more people have these skills. They're very easy skills. It's just learning them and then doing them. And I think for both of us, our main mission is as many people as can have these skills 
the more present and calm and happy all of us yeah. will be. Yes. And we love the idea of merging our two worlds. So I'm very yeah. much home organization, which is something people think is more practical and moving things around and a little bit more about tips and things like that. And Kirsten's world is uh, more meditative. So we're bringing them together in this workshop yep. and we're really excited. Yeah. Election day anxiety. How do you handle that briefly? Oh, you breathe. This, it's so <laughs> brave. No, no, seriously. Breathe it's at the so, ballot box. This is yes. actually so beautiful because I think that there's so much angst. Either you yeah. hate both or hate one and love the other. Yes. Yeah. And it's really, we're, we're all human. Okay, if somebody yeah. doesn't like what you like or, or the opposite, that's okay, you know, yeah. and, and to meet things where they're at. Yeah, and our event is actually the Saturday after election, so it's yeah. the perfect go. time to come on out and relieve some of the stress, whatever Release. you're feeling, and just yes. breathe and learn how to get organized at home, learn some meditation breathing practices, and come join us and have some fun. And it's right before the holidays, too, so you can get everything set, mm -hmm. your body and your home, before the holidays, and then truly enjoy the holidays. So we really encourage everyone to come. We actually have an early bird special that goes through tonight. Uh, yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, if people sign up in the next, by midnight tonight, they get $10 off. There you go. Kirsten and Maeve, give them a big hand, everybody. How can we get more information on what you guys are doing? Uh, sure. You can go to uh, either of our sites. So, um, a Maevesmethod.com, M-A-E-V-E-S-M-E-T-H-O-D.com events page. And Kirsten is north-scale. So, mm -hmm. you like scaling a mountain north? Yes. Yeah. Scale that mountain north, yeah. scale the mountain of life, and have the tools to do it. Northscale.com slash events. And also the Maeves <laughs> Method uh, Facebook page. Is Thank there you as well. so much. Thank you guys. Thank so you. Thank you. Yeah. Really Very great information. It. You got to come back more often and give it to us. All right, uh, we got to take a quick break right here, but stay tuned. I've got more next on Open.